Do your live streams sound like you're playing through a tin can? Then it's time to make a change. OBS, or Open Source Broadcasting, is a program that you can download for free, and it allows you to perform with mics, guitar inputs, and effects. You can also add professional looking graphics and pictures while you are live to encourage your fans to give a tip or buy a t-shirt. Hi, my name is Courtney King and I'm a musician in the Washington DC area. And up until about a month ago, I had never heard of OBS before. I'm here to show you how I went from live streaming using my phone to having a simple yet professional sounding setup using equipment I already had on hand. If you've done much gigging pre-pandemic, then it's likely you'll already own everything you'll need to get started. So what do you need? Number one, you'll need an audio interface or an audio mixer. This is what I use, Scarlett 2i2 by Focusrite. But anything you have for live shows should work as long as it has a USB port so you can connect it to your computer. I really wanted to have some reverb on my voice, but the Focusrite doesn't have onboard effects. So I just added a reverb guitar pedal to my vocal channel. Using the Eventide mixing link, which I already owned, you could just purchase a vocal effects pedal to simplify this if you want. However, before you do, check your mixer. Most live mixers have a basic effects built in, so you can add a bit of light reverb to your voice. Number two, you need to have a way to monitor the live mix. Since my PA is getting zero live gig use, I now use it to monitor my live streams. I plug the monitor jack into an input and you can hear the mix and not have to wear headphones in the video. Number three, you need your laptop or computer with OBS Studio installed. Like I said earlier, it's a free download and it manages your live stream. It gives you the freedom to choose your audio and video sources, and it even allows you to add graphics and logos without having to write your tip jar on a marker board. Number four, you need a webcam. The first few times I did a live stream, I simply used my internal laptop camera. Camera. It gets the job done. If you'd like a nicer camera but don't want to spend 300 or more on a new webcam or even a DSLR, then try this awesome app I just found. It's called OBS Camera and it allows you to use your iPhone camera as your video source, which is a huge upgrade to my laptop's internal camera. Number five, you'll need a reliable internet. For the basics, you'll want a download speed of 3 MPS and an upload speed of 5 MPS. You could do a search on Google for a speed test to see what you're running at. And six, lighting. At the very least, be sure that people can see your face. However, if it's too bright, you'll look like a ghost and have a dark shadow behind you. Experiment with multiple lights and lamps to work with what you have at home. And the last thing is the Over app, or any photo editing app, but this one I like the best. It's completely optional, but be sure the app has the option to create a PNG file for that transparent background. So now we can get set up. Plug your USB mixer into your computer. It should automatically detect it, and if not, try going to the manufacturer's website and download the driver for your device. Next, you should open your OBS to create a scene. A scene is where you put everything that will be a part of your live stream. You'll put your audio, video, and anything else you want to have in your stream. Let's first add the camera, adjust the settings if needed, and the audio is probably already pulling from the correct place. If not, click the plus button and add an audio input capture and then select your audio interface, not your internal computer microphone. Now you can mix your audio levels to your liking. Make sure they sound great and are not hitting the red. Try to aim for negative 20 dB to negative 15 dB. Check, check. I simply adjust the level on each channel on my focus right so that when I'm playing and singing, it won't hit red in either place. If you have a mixer to work with, you'll have much more flexibility. Now that everything is set up, go to your Facebook personal profile and click live stream. Be sure your privacy is set for only me so you can check your mix and how your video will perform while you're online. To connect Facebook to your OBS, click use stream key on Facebook and then scroll down and click copy on the stream key. Go back to OBS, click settings on the lower right hand corner and then the stream button. Select Facebook Live as the service and then paste the stream key in and click apply. Close that window and then click start streaming in the lower right hand corner. Head back now to your Facebook Live and click go live. And make sure though that it's still marked as only me. Now you can have your own little sound check. 
say a few sentences, play a course or two that have a wide dynamic range, and then pick up your phone and watch your stream. If you have problems with your audio or video, do a quick check of your OBS settings compared to the Facebook guidelines for live streams. OBS is a really powerful program and far exceeds the maximum numbers on Facebook live stream. This may take some time to figure out. Now that the basics are up and running, you can add your virtual tip jar and some pics of your albums or merch that fans can purchase. To make your tip jar, download and open the Over app. Click here and then click Transparent Background. Add a graphic if you want or just text. Be sure to save it as a PNG so it looks swanky and doesn't have a big white box around it. Then upload your images into your scene and adjust the size. Make your tip jar visible and your merch or other text ready to click on during your stream by clicking the I. Once you're happy with how everything looks and sounds, you're ready to go public. Invite your friends to your stream, advertise it however you can, and make it a big event. Okay, that's all I've got. I hope this video will help you to produce a high quality live stream so you can ditch the canned music and keep your audience listening and coming back for more. So what do you need? You'll need an audio interfor for sure.